Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are taking our Gabby's new car, our car, our new car, the Charger, on our very first ever uh, kind of long road trip. We're going on a road trip. We're taking you guys. We got the girls. They're still half asleep. How are you feeling, Sophie? Uh, my, my eyes closing more. Your eyes closing more? She looks pretty good though. Like compared to what she looked like after she fell. She looks really good. You guys can't see, but both of her eyes have black, and one is swollen, and her nose is black and swollen. Um, I did something really bad when I was getting in this car. What? I hit my head. Oh, that's not good. How's your head? My head's fine. When I move around a lot, I get a headache. Yeah. It looks less. Is it less? Yeah, when I move around, I do look less. It's less! less. Goodness, yesterday Sophie sat all day. Like, so concussion protocol is like a six day, six day, seven day thing, six day thing, I think. And it basically, you do day one until you feel good. So, yesterday she wasn't able to walk around at all. Every time she got up and walked around, it made her headache. So, that means that she has to start day one again today. And today, if she can get up and walk around and her head doesn't hurt, she can move to day two. But today, she has not moved to day two because already it hurts less but it still hurts when she walks around so that's like signs of a concussion i had a concussion like that before it's awful every time like oh man it's it's bad you can't even walk around it's just a creepy crawly gross feeling so anyway she's still on day one she can't ride for six days six days after she can't ride for six days but but that gets extended does that make sense like she can't ride for six days following the concussion but because she's still on day one today because she still can't walk without having a headache that means that she still can't ride for six days from today even though she fell yesterday did you fall yesterday two days ago the night before so two days ago well like almost two days ago she fell and she's still on day one so she still can't ride for six days does that make sense like she still can't ride for six days even though she should only have to wait for four days because she's already two days in but because she still has to keep on staying on day one until the pain goes away when she gets up so that's how it's supposed to work that's what we go by we go by the concussion protocol and she still has to get a new helmet <laughs> it's been an expensive month anyway today we're going on a road trip we're going someplace special where are we going sam tell them we're gonna look at some trucks we're gonna look at some trucks it is finally time there's one that i want specifically because it would mean it it already has like the hitch and everything we need for the trailer it would mean so much fun for me although sam doesn't think i should get on a horse <laughs> but sophie thinks that our bad luck is over. Sam fell, Sophie fell, and Gabby fell. That's three. So there will be no more falling on the day by day farm. So we're gonna take you guys with us, show you some trucks, and see what happens today. Maybe we'll be back to uh, being mobile. I lost. I lost. No, so, I lost. I won the fight. Thank so you. we just stopped for a bathroom break and some fruit cups, <laughs> uh, some snacks. So Sophie had an interesting conversation with the instructions on how to eat with it. the clerk so what did he say to you sophie do you do boxing <laughs> what did you say no i fell off my horse <laughs> it's true she looks like a boxer today her swelling has gotten a little bit worse i've been taking pictures every day so i can kind of like see how her progression is is going and the swelling got worse which is weird but it the doctor said to expect it to get worse before it gets better so this is it. I don't know if we're getting it. So I don't want to video somebody's truck, but it's not. It is a diesel truck used, obviously. It's not the one that we had, though. You thought your eye looked normal? So yeah. He's... I looked in the mirror and it does not. Yeah, it closed a little more. She feels like, and you can't really tell in the camera or in pictures. Don't but touch. yeah, the whole thing from here all the way over to her ear is swollen. And then you can't see, but she's got, well, yeah, you can kind of see. She's got some bruising there, but also her nose and then into this eye. And if you, actually, that's swollen too now. My eye? Yeah. No. Do you notice a difference? Yeah, it is. No, it's not swollen. It is swollen. No, it's not. So. My nose is. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's can, what it is. You can see it's her nose all the way to there. Do you guys see that? Yeah, she really got a whacking. <laughs> yeah. Three seconds on the ground, and that's how she came out. 
got these little things. We're gonna, and it's blue. All right, we are trying out the truck. Well, think. Miss our truck. It's got like a loud engine. Yeah, and they don't need the deaf fluid, which I don't like, because it loses the power. Right, so Gabby took the front. Stuck in the back, lots of leg room, you guys. I have five I foot have nine them. legs. I don't have that much leg room. Sophie, Sophie, you wait, what? How's Sophie that possible? Look at, I have this much space Mine's between there. Yeah. Oh, it's because Sam's feet. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's because Sam has big legs, long legs too. I like the color on the inside. It's I white. Don't like or the color on the inside. You don't like it? The thing I hate about well, actually, it's way less bumpy than yours. Yeah, it's more, that's the thing. Alright, that is a huge thing I noticed. As soon as we went over a bump and we bumped, I'm like, Sam's truck was like, you couldn't like write anything the whole drive. It's so bumpy. I couldn't even like read that. Yeah, it's so, it. it was like driving in like I don't even know what. It's a Chevy, a Silverado. It's... They used it only to pull horses. That's all they've used it for. So I don't know, that could be good or that could be bad. Sam is trying it out, man. He is like speeding us up, whoa! <laughs> How's that for your head? Oh, what the heck? And then he's slowing it down to see if it works. And I'm car sick. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not a backseat driver. Anyway, I like it. I think it works good. So our gooseneck hitch was this big, huge monstrosity. You couldn't even just like shove anything into the tra truck, trailer. You couldn't even shove anything into the back of the truck because it was just there. It was like it took up the whole center of the truck. This is like a little tiny hidden thing. I love that. All right, so we're back in our car. I like it. It's It looks black. It actually looks black. We'd have like two, we'd have three yeah, black cars. I feel like I dreamed that right. before. Black. So this is it. Truck number two. I'm voting for the first one so far. Yep. So, Sophie says this is it. Sophie had a dream of a black truck and a white truck. This is cute. I mean, really, it's his choice. His choice. Wow, this is nicer inside. This one's from a dealership versus this is it, Dad. the other one was being sold privately. So this is it. All right, let's get in. I'm getting in the front oh. this time. Oh my gosh, am I ever getting in? You need to we got a share, Gabby. This is gas though. Yeah, it's nicer. It's newer. That's fine. Do you like it already? I don't. I like the other one better. Like this, one. this one's got that like cut out seat. This is what we're used to. It's okay. cold. It's cold. Cold today. Yeah, but I just got like a heat warning on my phone and it's not even that hot. Like I need my sweater almost. We're in a different area. Mother. I know, but we're in the same city. Well, not the same city. We're in the same province. You'd think it would be the same weather. So you like this one, Gabby? Yeah. You like this one, Sophie? Yeah. Just because it looks nicer? Yeah. Gabby wants this one. She's already trying to talk Sam out of the other one. I don't know, you guys. Comment below. What do you think it's going to be? You think we're going to get the white one? Or do you think oh, we're going to get the blue one? Cooler like my truck. Has a cooler. How many we, times did we use we that cooler? It. No. Because it was under the seat though, right? No, it's under here. Oh. It's always under here. This is, is a cooler. Seat? I don't know. I can't tell because it doesn't split. The other one had leather seats. This one has cloth seats. Like my truck, I have everything. Oh my god, this one actually has the cup holders. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was... <laughs> Let's see where this is headed. And everything like my old truck. All right, in regular family fashion, we are going to take a vote after we take this baby for a test drive. Oh, yeah, okay? I know what my baby is. <laughs> it's got the brake, it's got that, that's what I needed. That truck was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Found it. And a perfect example of why you shouldn't just go for beauty beauty is only skin deep that car had so much wrong with it i had so much wrong with it we we're all like <sighs> because it was so pretty but it was bad you guys it was bad sam even okay let's take a vote what do you vote what, what do you vote yay or nay 
Nay on that one. Croc number three and the final contestant for today. Got the black things that Sam likes. It's a Ram 2500. It's not open. It's ugly as sin inside. This is what it looks like. Whoa. What? It's a no for you? It's a no. Gabby's going to say no too. Got a hitch. Not the time you want. Ball heads. Yeah. Definitely don't like the seats. I like these little boards though. There's something on this side though. Oh, it's the cooler. Do you have one on your side too, Sophie? Oh, this is a, two coolers. We are home. I just walked in and Chino is standing in his stall looking out the window and he looks so regal. He looks like a, he's, re, he's a regal looking horse. Hello, handsome. I had my son come and put the horses in. And it was time for them to come off the field. So they're all tucked away, happy, out of the sun. But it's gorgeous outside. Sylvie's really still struggling with her concussion. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell that her face was uh, more swollen today. I might, she might end up back with, for another checkup. Happen, hi. Because it's so close to her eye, I just wanna be like so super careful. Um, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give it another day, see if the swelling starts to come down instead of go up. Like it's been uh, two full days now. Two full days, yeah, two full days, and the swelling swelling went up. So the doctor did tell me that it's gonna get way worse before it gets better. So I'll just give him a call tomorrow if she still if the swelling is getting worse. But her concussion, she tried to go into a couple of stores today. And they were playing music. Oh, she couldn't take it. <laughs> she had to leave. Poor girl. I know that exact feeling though. Look at my handsome man. And my other handsome man. All right, they are off. And Chino's cantering. <laughs> it's like, oh man, that one little Palomino, she is annoying. Let me out. <laughs> All right, they're happy. Four happy horses. So we did not buy a truck today. Sam told uh, one guy that he'll call him tomorrow and let him know. Um, the second two trucks were definitely a no. The first truck that was a blue one uh, was the best out of all of them. But I want Sam to hold out until he finds the truck of his dreams. His old truck was the truck of his dreams. And I don't want him to like settle on a truck just because I want to go on trail rides. <laughs> So he has a guy that is gonna call him back that has the truck of his dreams. He's just waiting, like the guy's at his cottage and he has to call him tomorrow. So we're hoping that that one pans out. If not, he'll be getting the blue truck, the one with the nice thing to pull the trailer. But anyways, uh, on our way home, we stopped to do some shopping. Like I said, Sophie really struggled. She went into a couple of stores. It's like a outlet mall, so it was like, um, all the stores you have to leave the mall, like leave the store and you go outside and then go in the other store. So she ended up, she went into a couple of stores and then she had to leave and go sit in the car because she couldn't, I would have to pay. She picked out a couple of things and I would have to pay because her head got so bad. Music in the store, right? Yeah. All right, so Daisy. I got, I got a Dalmatian at the store. Yeah, she got a Dalmatian. Okay, what did you get? It's Sophie is cut off from getting hoodies now because she has like seven new hoodies plus all the hoodies that she got last year. She's a, a, she's addicted to hoodies. Oh, another Harry Potter hoodie that said, says Hogwarts. It's a navy, so she got a burgundy and the navy, which are my two favorite fall colors. That one's so super cute. I love it. This one is originally $40, but we got it for $10. Yeah, isn't that such a good deal? So then we went to Sophie's favorite store, mine and Sophie's favorite store, which is Roots. Sophie's favorite pants of life are her Roots leggings. They're like the best leggings that you can get. They're just so comfortable. These look short. Yeah, but they're not short. They better not be short. They said they're normal, but I find Roots does make some stuff short. But anyways, leggings at Roots are literally like, uh, are literally like buying Lululemon. $78. Yeah, and her, yeah, like that's ridiculous for a pair of thin leggings. But her other roots have lasted her for like two years. 
satisfying. But have lasted her for two years. They're like made with good quality. But and they're still lasting. Yeah, she still wears them all the time. They're her favorite black leggings. I think they're the only black leggings I that she seen wears. Them for a while. Oh, that's weird. They're maybe in my room. Or they're in the dryer. But anyway. Did you steal them again? Yeah, they sometimes get mixed up because I only wear black leggings. But I do not have uh, Roots ones. So, Gabby did not get a single thing because she went into every store with us. But she's such a weird kid. She's I just like, like her dad. Like, she, Yeah, Sophie didn't go in all the stores. Gabby went in all the stores with me. So, if we, Gabby's really picky. Like, Gabby has to find what she wants and then that's all she wants. So, all she wants to go back to school. She needs more pants, I feel like. But all she wants is a specific pair of shoes. So, we're trying to find them. She's really into shoes. She has a lot of pairs of shoes right now. See, I would and, be going to try all these on but it's too painful to get over my head yeah too painful to try those on but anyways i ended up getting a couple of things and i don't usually buy stuff for myself but I, ruby go away but i've officially entered the ugly stage you guys i've officially entered the ugly stage the ugly stage is where you buy things that you don't care what they look like just because you think they're going to be comfortable and these two things are so ugly i'm gonna only wear them for bed though so i got these burgundy pants they're like knit pants and they're pants <laughs> it's so weird uh, but they feel so soft and I just imagine like a cold winter night and me laying in bed or laying editing at the computer with these soft, it's like a sweater for your butt, like ugly as sin, but I am going to wear them. And then I got another pair, a different type. These are like so tiny, but they stretch. Anyways, they are gray and they're so they're super soft too. And then I splurged with Sam's money <laughs> and bought a hoodie because I do not have any hoodies. But it was Roots and I'm excited about it. It's hunter green and I love it. It's so thick and so heavy and exactly what I need for fall. Anyway, so that is it. I'll keep you guys posted on our truck buying journey. We might have to make one more long trip to try another truck. Uh, vote below which truck you guys liked. I'm sure you probably liked the second one, but honestly, it was a disaster inside, or it was a disaster under the hood. So that one's definitely out. But anyway, that is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Pray for Sophie that she doesn't wake up more swollen and that she starts to feel better because as it is now, she's still six days at least away from riding. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?